Russ, a bit of a calm before the storm here in here at, at the moment. What are, you, what are your thoughts? Have you been able to, to gather yourself at, at all this week or are you just looking forward to it? Uh, no, I've come in today to uh, pop my head in and just to see if everything's all right and it's absolutely mayhem. So it's, uh, but this is what it's all about, isn't it? It's um, full of emotion, full of excitement and can't wait. Um, I guess not ideal preparation really for the game since I've not been able to play many games, but have you just had to try and harness that as, as a positive? Ask me that question after the game on Saturday. I think, um, yeah, we're clearly frustrated that we, we haven't had a game um, over the Christmas period. But on the plus side, we've got bodies back and we've got a fully fit squad going into Saturday. And just kind of parking the FA Cup for a minute, I mean, looking at the other side of Reading, the league fixture list, and for Reading too, I suppose, it's, it's going to be such a busy period that you know, you're almost going to have win, lose, draw, whatever the weekend. You're going to have to get quite crap into it, aren't you? Yeah, well, it's. That's the same for most clubs, to be honest, and um, you know we're no different. Yes, okay, we've got a lot more league games because of our FA Cup run, um, but we'll let them head on. Um, I always said we'll take one game at a time. Reading's the most important game for us at the moment. We've got to do everything we can to try and win it. We'll need a little bit of luck as well on the way, um, and as soon as that game's over, it's full focus on Tuesday at Farsley. And is that the advantage of, hopefully, at the moment, having a fully fit squad, having Marcus Tanaga, who's not yet played for all these yet, at least to have the bodies, hopefully, to negotiate the period? Yes, we will, and we've got to be ready. Um, suspensions, injuries, they're always around the corner, and we've got to be ready to have replacements for those um, within the squad, and possibly bring, bring some in, just to keep us ticking over nicely, really. We've got 26 league games to play, I think. Um, not including FA Cup games as well, so um, we've got a lot to fit in, but you know, we're, we're looking forward to it. And talking about bodies and options within the squad, how pleased are you to tie down Joe Folks? Because I guess he's kind of been further towards the back of people's minds in the sense that they've not seen a lot of him since, since his injury naturally, but I mean, he kind of exploded onto the scene for us, so you'd be pleased to have him as, a, as an option? Yeah, I'm delighted. First and foremost, I'm, I'm delighted he's got back to the levels um, that he was at the start of the season because um, the last month um, we wanted to see what his fitness levels were like, how his ankle and foot have held up. Um, and slowly but surely he's, he's getting back to match fitness so great competition for places you know Warsaw have been great he's got to get a lot of game time here um, and he's part of he's part of the process that we're trying to build at this football club so yeah delighted to uh, extend his stay. Um, the FA Cup third round potential well will be around 5,000 in the stadium on Saturday it seems unthinkable at the start of the season when we were just pleased to have people back in the ground I mean first of all that's a great achievement isn't it and an occasion that people will enjoy. Yeah, we said at the start of the season in, in a ball meeting that we want to fill the terraces at least once this season. Um, we've been able to do that a few times, which has been great. And the old excitement of the town um, is great, and, and the enthusiasm around the club is fantastic. Um, we, we've all needed it after you know a terrible couple of years, both on and off the field. Um, and, and the fans need it as well. They've had a tough, tough few years in terms of the pandemic and not being able to see the football club. And we want to bring that to light on Saturday. And before we touch on the emotion, you talk about the task in hand on Saturday. How do you approach it in the sense that against uh, Grimsby and against Halifax, although they were high grade opposition, you knew that I guess if the lads were on it and had a good day, there's a strong chance we could win them. But I mean, the gap here is much, much bigger. Do you approach it any differently? Or? Um, we'll have to, we'll have to be sensible, um, you can't be going ho and, um, and play the way we want to at national north level, um, we'll respect the opposition but also you know, we, we know their weaknesses, we are going to get the ball at times and you know, we've got to be very disciplined without the ball, if we, can, if we can do that and stay in the game, the longer it goes on the more frustrated they get and the crowd are on our side then it's game on, it's, it's the FA Cup, I've seen bigger and worse upsets than this. Yeah, and you've had a good look at them, of course. You, you went to see them in their last game. And people talk about how they might be struggling at the wrong end of their league table this season, but you're still talking, as you've said before, about established championship players and, and a club with Premier League pedigree. So we've got to make sure we've got that right, you know? Yeah, and, and listen, it'd just be great to, to, to welcome them with open arms. You know, you've got Danny Drinkwater, who's won the Premier League. Um, Andy Carroll, who's had numerous England caps, ex Liverpool. Junior Hoyler. It's you know I could name I could name loads Scott Dan I could name I could name loads of, of proper Premier League experienced players. Um, whether they play them all on Saturday is up to the manager, but we'll be prepared for them to play the best team, and uh, we're going to give it a good go. And in terms of the occasion, so much goes our favour, I guess, in terms of playing it here because you felt the first couple of minutes against Halifax, it was part of the atmosphere and the furor around the ground, kind of that got us you know some of the way to that early goal. And, 
I guess even if you are experienced ex England players and you played in the Premier League, this kind of thing is it's a little bit different, a little bit more confronting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad it's here um, because we've packed out. Reading have packed out beyond the goal. It's got to be a great FA Cup occasion. You know, some famous names on the terraces as well. Um, it's got to be a real good show on and off the field on Saturday. I'm delighted we've been able to achieve this this season. Um, but like I said, you know, amongst all the emotion, you know, we've got a job to do on Saturday. Um, I let the fans enjoy that, but we've got a job to do. And of course, and I wouldn't say it's the first big occasion for you as a manager because we've hit the highlights of some big games over the last 18 months. But do you kind of take perspective now as a manager in the sense that you did a lot of this as a player? What's it like kind of on the other side watching your players enjoy it and soak it up? Oh, I'm happy for the players, I really am. Um, as a player, you know, you always think of these moments and you dream of FA Cup third rounds and swapping shirts and playing against your idols. Um, you know, as a manager, it's completely different. You've got the responsibility of the whole team and the whole club on Saturday and everyone's looking at you when it's not going right. So, um, don't get me wrong, it's the first time in my short managerial career um, I've had a high profile game like this. So, I'm excited, a little bit nervous, um, but I've really got to enjoy the occasion. But good, I suppose, that you've got all of those emotions in that a few butterflies in the stomach on Saturday morning will do just right, won't they? Yeah, if you're not nervous, you're in the wrong game um, because, you know, we want to win the game. People think that's far-fetched, but, you know, we, we want to give a good account of ourselves. We're doing really well this season um, and we want to make it hard for Reading on Saturday. We're not going to roll over and um, we've got a game plan.